Hello, grade two. Welcome to our last subject. We have music and arts. So let us go. We are going to proceed first with our music. Let's start with our music. And in our music, we are going to learn the different musical instruments. So the first one is the string instruments. So what are the, the string instruments? And what is the meaning of string instruments? String instruments, of course, are instruments with or have strings where player uses a bow to produce sound. Sometimes the strings are being plucked to produce sound like guitar, a banjo, and a harp. So these are the example of string instruments. You pluck this for, to make it sound, also the banjo and the harp. What about the, the other string instrument that uses a bow? Can you please give me an example? Ready, think, five, four, three, two, one. What is your answer? Yeah, a violin, okay, very good. So now let's proceed to our next. Okay, so the next one are the brass wind instrument. So the clue here are have the clue here is the brass wind instruments are wind instruments, means it produces sound you using a wind that have a cup shaped mouthpiece. The player blows air into the mouthpiece to produce a sound. So this is the mouthpiece, a cup shape. Okay, this cup shape are the where you blow to produce blow air to produce sound. Okay. So again, this is our brass wind. So these are the example of brass wind instrument. We have trombone, trumpet, tuba, and French horn. Okay. So the brass wind instrument, they have a mouth piece like this one, a cup-shaped mouth piece where you blow air to produce a sound. All right. So this one is a bra the brass wind instruments. Next, let's produce, produce, let's proceed to the next one. So for our next one, it's like it's we have the wind also. Woodwind this time. Woodwind instruments are wind instruments. And the bl players blows where? air across a hole on the side. So they blow a air across the side, okay, Pa? So this is the hole. This is the hole. Okay. Okay, so these are our woodwind instrument. This one is a clarinet, a flute, a bassoon, and oboe. Okay, so again, the difference between brass wind and woodwind. The brass wind, they have a cup-shaped mouthpiece where they blow airs, air, while here in the woodwind, they have a hole only, a hole where a player blows air. All right. Now, let's proceed to our last. And that is a percussion instruments. Okay, a percussion instruments are musical instruments that produce sound by beating, hitting, or striking. Others, like maracas and tambourine, produce sounds by shaking them. 
So these are the examples of our percussion. So to make a sound, you are going to shake the bells. Also the castanets, you need to do like this for you to make a sound. The triangle, you need to hit it and also the sticks. So these are our percussion instruments. We have another one, of course, the maracas. This one is maracas, a drum, a cymbals. This one is cymbals, tambourine, xylophone, and a gong, diba? You hit, you shake, you strike these instruments. So if you shake, hit, strike, then it is a percussion instrument, okay? So now let us review again our four types of instrument. We have the string instruments. We have the brass wind instruments, the wood wind instruments, and the last one is the percussion instruments. So now let us name the different instruments. Please follow after me. Guitar, banjo, harp, trombone, French horn, trumpet, tuba, clarinet, flute, bassoon, oboe, Bells, triangle, castanets, sticks, maracas, drum, cymbals, tambourine, xylophone, gong. Okay, so please get your book, open it on page 92. Page 92. Okay, are you there now, Mape Book? So here you are going to identify the name of the musical instrument and write their names on the answer lines. So please answer this one, number one. Okay, what is this instrument? It's under brass wind instrument. Okay, next number two, please write. Next number three. Very good. Next, number four. Next, number five. Oh, you want to look at our... Okay, so let's start again with number one. So number one, find this in our brass wind instrument, okay? So that one, where is it? Okay, copy the word and write it in your number one. Okay, number two, this one is what? Um, string, woodwind, brass wind, or percussion? Correct, percussion instrument. So let's have our percussion instrument. Find that picture here and write the answer. Okay, done. All right, now let's proceed to number three. So number three is, uh, it's not in our picture. So what is this? All right, now for number, but this one, number three is a string instrument, right? Okay, now let's have number four. Is it, what is this? Is it string, percussion, woodwind, or brass wind? Very good. It is percussion there. Please copy 
the name of that instrument. All right, next number five. What is this? Woodwind, percussion, string, or brass wind? Very good. It is a woodwind. Okay, and where in the woodwind? Done? Okay, now let's proceed to number five. Of course, this one is a, a brass wind. There, find it. What is the name of that instrument? Okay, done. Next, number seven, another type of string instrument. It's the big one. Okay, done. Now for number eight. This one is a woodwind, brasswind, percussion, or string. Correct. A woodwind. Okay, find the name of that instrument. Next, number eight, uh, number nine, okay? This one is correct percussion. So find the name of that instrument here. Done. So let's proceed to page 93. Okay, this one. Another string instrument. Okay, for number 11, that one is a percussion. Okay, and for number 12, this one. Okay, it's a woodwind there. Okay, so now if you are not yet done, you can pause the video and play it again once you are finished. Okay, so let's proceed with our arts. In our arts, we are going to learn about stencil, right? About stencil. So what are stencil prints? Stencil prints are made by cutting the desired shape of a design on a sheet of paper or a piece of a cardboard. So you need to cut a shape or a design it can be triangle it can be a design of your um, um, animal a design of a flower so it's up to you and then after making a desired shape or design you are going to cut it out and then the cut out design is placed under over a sheet of paper or other materials and paint or ink is then brushed over the stencil. So this is your bond paper. You're going to put your cut out design and using your um, paint or ink, you are going to brush it. Okay. And then after that, after brushing it, let's you can dry it okay so now i'm gonna show you teacher bell will show you an example of the stencil okay art please wait okay so we are going to watch a video on how to make an stencil art okay So this is, this is her cardboard or a piece of paper, and then she is going to make a design. Let's watch. Oh, there's a pattern already. She will just cut it. Okay, done with the cutting. Now, as you can see, she's opening now her design. And look, that is her design. Okay. Now, she put it in a paper. 
over the paper and put a paint, okay? She's using a brush, um, a sponge, okay? There, a sponge. And while she's putting the ink or paint. All right. Okay, first she uses orange color and now blue colors. Okay, then you are going to remove the paper for you to see your work, your design, your outcome, the output. There you go. So this is our the stencil art. So already what's the stencil art? So in, in making the stencil art, stencil print designs can be used repeatedly, okay? You can use repeatedly or art, 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 alternately, sorry, on different objects or materials. You can create with different patterns. So this one is another design for the stencil. This one is a little bit hard, okay? So she make a design and then she put it over the paper and then paint it. Put an, so this is now her work. So you can repeat a shape all over the surface or you can alternate two or more shapes. You can repeat also the colors or you can alternate colors, all right? So that's all for our arts. So please watch the video of um, your project about project in arts and computer. All right. So for your assignment, study for our quiz tomorrow and take a picture of pages 92 to 93 and send it in our class dojo. That's all, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Bye.